Championship is under the lights tonight. Trinidad and Tobago take on the United States. Mike Watts on hand of the sun has shyly gone behind the mountains here, 5,000 feet above sea level. It is a 69-degree night with a nice crosswind of about 16 miles an hour rain. We'll stay out of the forecast this evening. The United States looking to win the group with a victory here. They would be drastically closer. They would hold on to their goal difference margin against Canada. It would mean a win or a draw in the finale between the two sides would put the United States through as the top seed from Group F. Meanwhile, Trinidad and Tobago trying to put space between themselves and Barbados. Well, for the United States, it was a fantastic start against Barbados. The goals took a little while to show up, but when they did in the final few minutes, it proved to be extremely valuable as it pertains to the group standings and goal difference. A hat trick from Cruz Medina, the fourth at this tournament for the United States over the last 22 years. The last 10 tournaments, keys the result. They outshoot Barbados 30 to two. And they're hoping here today they can handle Trinidad and Tobago and in doing so set up a win or draw scenario against Canada to move on to face the Dominican Republic, the side they vanquished at the under-20 level last year for the under-20 CONCACAF Championship Final in the opening round of the knockout stage, the round of 16. It's the United States side that's going to see a ton of changes, eight adjustments game over game. You fully anticipate the second-ranked seed in pot one to come out on top here. But Trinidad and Tobago already showed they're not one to be trifled with. Against Canada, they went down a man 20 minutes in and scratched and clawed their way back in from a two-goal deficit, two different occasions, ultimately to fall one goal short against the Canadians, three goals to two. They also are going to make a number of adjustments, four lineup changes as Sean Cooper tries to pilot this side to a well enough result to make sure goal difference stays in their favor as it pertains to Barbados, but also potentially try and scratch out a point or three, and in doing so give themselves a chance to win the group still. The United States and Trinidad and Tobago take the field, the top three in Group F. We'll move on to the knockout stage. Both these teams were favored to do so from the moment the draw was done. The United States can officially punch their ticket. Trinidad and Tobago can put themselves on the cusp. The officials make their way onto the field joined by the 22 players. The United States have won this tournament three occasions prior. It's been Mexico's tournament now for the last decade. Is this the 11? Is this the 20 players that can reassert the United States dominance at this level and allow them to hold most every trophy in the region? Trinidad and Tobago in the United States, moments away from kickoff in the CONCACAF Under-17 Championship. Damas y caballeros, por favor de pie, a continuación los himnos nacionales de Trinidad y Tobago, seguidamente el de Estados Unidos.
United States and Trinidad and Tobago are just minutes away from squaring off. It's match day two of the CONCACAF Under-17 Championship in Guatemala. The United States trying to take control of Group F, Trinidad and Tobago, trying to put themselves back in the mix for the group title, but also avoid what could be a disastrous exit should they fall here today and again against Barbados on Wednesday. Here's the lineup that Sean Cooper has assembled, and there is one late change to the team. Armani Rowe was a late scratch. He's listed here. He'll be replaced by Samuel Duncan, Caruth Chavez, Clement, Lamsey, and Moore enter the 11. They have made five changes. The 11th ranked entrant into the group stage in this under 17 championship. The American captain for this game, Pedro Soma, who did not feature in the previous match. Lisa Cornelia in Spain's third division. Victor Casares of Mexico will oversee the match. Josiah Ochoa captains Trinidad and Tobago. The sides will exchange pendants and pose for one last photo before tonight's match begins. The United States under Gonzalo Cigares have made wholesale changes. They've made a total of eight, including the goalkeeper, Adam Beaudry, who gets his second ever cap for the U.S. Youth National Team. Pedro Soma, Aiden Harangi, and Christopher Aquino all debut in the competition for the under-17s. The United States side made up of 15 players from MLS academies, one from the USL Championship, the rest hailing from overseas. Trinidad and Tobago have a handful of players with experience in the United States on their roster. Can they give the U.S. a run for their money here? At the Estadio Pensativo in Guatemala. Under the lights in Guatemala. There's the opening whistle and here we go. It's the United States and Trinidad and Tobago. Match day number two in this CONCACAF under 17 championship in Group F. The U.S. in white will attack right to left in this opening half. Coming off a 5-0 win against Barbados. Cruz Medina scoring three, Figueroa and Habrun each scoring as well. Trinidad and Tobago, a 3-2 game that somehow almost undersells all Trinidad and Tobago did to stay in. Aquino the target, and there's Panton. Plays for Darlington Soccer Academy in the United States. Amani Rowe is from the New York, New Jersey area. He was the scratch. Samuel Duncan plays at Charlotte. And Tyrell Moore playing for Nashville. The U.S. players featuring with Trinidad and Tobago, or the U.S. based players, that is. Orangi to throw. A lot of belief, seven camps in this cycle, a number of players featured in all seven. The Gonzalo Cigaris has gotten the mix right for this under 17 journey. Floated by Soma out of play. Speaking with the U.S. manager earlier this week, 
Described plans to use all 20 players. He was an assistant to the under 20 staff, Mikey Varis' team in Honduras last year that won the under 20 championship and qualified for the under 20 World Cup and the Olympics. The U.S. on the run. Habrun sends it wide. Ball whipped across. Panton sent it away. Burton recovers. His shot rings well off target. Good opening salvo for the United States. Was Panton 16 years old. Gonzalo Cigares, former Costa Rican national team defender. He's been with U.S. soccer dating back to just a few months prior to the beginning of the pandemic in 2020. He was named the under-17 head coach in October 2021. Of course, he was appointed at the time by Brian McBride. Much has changed in U.S. soccer over the past few months since the Qatar World Cup, including an entire shift the front office on the men's side. And an interim coach, Anthony Hudson, leading the team. There is still top to bottom good connection between the staffs, but there's an ongoing question as to how things will progress. Garcia has shown a yellow. First card of the match. Of course, yellow card accumulation will be a concern for Trinidad and Tobago. Rio Cardin is sitting today. He picked up the red card for a handball against Canada 20 minutes in. Ochoa and Figaro sitting on yellow cards from their first match. The U.S., Gill and Figueroa are on yellows. Neither are in the starting 11. A second yellow in this tournament in the group stage, suspended for the round of 16. Corner for the U.S. Micah Burton crossing. Burton once more. A touch to that, now cleared. Panton able to graze that beyond the U.S. attackers. Trendsetter Hawks, Trinidad and Tobago. Burton. That's a good corner, maybe a bit too much. Habrun. Able to reserve. We'll steer this on target. in this group. Obtained over an extended period of time for Trinidad and Tobago. Selection that primarily comes through the SSFL. Tyrell Moore is Shaq Moore's brother. Could have brought in Luca Hislop. 
Rio Cardenas from Crystal Palace. Some bigger names for Trinidad and Tobago. Thrust out at the halfway line. Yeah, 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 yeah. Double in here, double in here. They play in front. They play in front. Then go back, then go back. Right. Watch your slide, watch your slide. Watch your slide. Burton. He's had a lively start. Panton as well to bring that down. Push on, get him. Away from Jura. Scooped up by Moore. Lamsey couldn't get there in time. The United States flock forward. Harangi. Harangi may get a second look. Instead, he'll let this escape for a corner. Third of the match for the United States. They kept their thumb on the scale in the early going. And there's Paolo Rudisil. Handful of pro games already for him at LA Galaxy 2. Last year in the USL Championship, the American Second Division. Aquino. Been away from Vasquez. Vasquez will let that out. Corner again, the United States. Burden to take this. That's going to set up kindly. Blasted by Jura. Rolls out Aquino. Hangs in the air to the back post. Settled, seeking Soma. Grinding into the box. Ball across and hammered home. The United States grabbed the opening goal 10 minutes in. Micah Burton, his first of the tournament. Burton already training this preseason with Austin FC in MLS. Puts himself in position for the cross from Habrun. And as all goal scorers do, finds a way to put it over the line. By any means necessary. USA 1, Trinidad and Tobago nil. Any win for the United States, considering Canada's failure to match the result garnered by the U.S. against Barbados. The U.S. won by five, Canada nearly 2-0. Means the U.S. would hold the goal difference advantage going into the final game of the group. Meaning a win or a draw would be enough. This last at goal, an off target from Aquino. The U.S. finding their rhythm. It was never truly in doubt, but they did let things hang against Barbados. 
perhaps a bit too long. 2-0 in the 85th minute. Dangerous slide. Two players for the same 50-50. And Harangi appeared to get the worst of it. That trailing leg taking Harangi out from Lamsey. One of the better attended matches so far. Here to see the U.S. in Trinidad and Tobago. Here in Antigua, Guatemala, stadium that holds about 10,000, renovated about a year ago. Make it more capable of hosting high-level CONCACAF events. Has hosted the under-17s once before. Sent too far by Rudisil. Covered by the U.S., chipped forward by Burton. Sends Vasquez wandering. Jura, and the U.S. have their second. It's Paolo Rudisil. His second goal for the under-17s. And the U.S. are in command against Trinidad and Tobago. Nutmegs the defender in route. And Rudisil, the connection near the goal line. Put the United States ahead by two. U.S. in pursuit of qualification. for the under-17 World Cup, a stage that they've been on 17 times in 2019, despite a group of talent that's already found its way into the senior national team. Giovanni Reyna, Ricardo Pepe, Joe Scali, George Bello. Still, they crashed out in the World Cup group stage 2019. This group trying to uh, change that recent history, the U.S. Jura. It's a foul from Moore. Vasquez, Jura. Clearly a matchup they like down this left-hand side. It'll be a long night for Aiden Carruth. Roof. 
Figaro. Morris. Beaudry. Hawkins. Diaz. Featuring for LAFC. Academy setup. Jura. Soma. Trailing back into midfield, Burton wins the free kick. Hawkins. By Diaz. Soma. Letting it go. Anton appeared to have it covered. some appearances in the Spanish third division. Vasquez isolates 1v1. Vasquez dancing for the byline. Well, we are still without an upset. The team that was ranked higher entering the tournament has won every match thus far in the group stage. Including Canada earlier today against Barbados in this group. Diaz trails back. Beaudry. Soma inches it forward. Aquino. Harangi. <laughs> oh, Vasquez brought it down. And it's Panton off the line. That diagonal and the touch by Vasquez was exquisite. And nearly Meg Panton for the third for the United States. Not to be, not yet. Sends back. That's a dangerous pass recovered by Sween. Sween scored in the 80th minute against Canada. Floated forward for more. Sween navigates back. Caruth. And it ends there for Trinidad and Tobago. Burton. Vasquez. The 
U.S. seemed a bit stretched there. Trinidad and Tobago's find a pocket. Only to see it collapse. Figaro. Arangi. Dad played in Hungary in the United States. He was born in Virginia. He's already featured for Hungary's under 16s and 17s, five caps last year. Featuring in the under 17 Bundesliga at Frankfurt. Touched wide by Soma. Hangs up for Vasquez. Jura. Hawkins. Harangi. Squared across. And a lapse for Trinidad and Tobago allows Habrun to grab his second of the tournament. And he may have put this game to bed. Just over a quarter of the way through the match, the United States are three goals up on Trinidad and Tobago. Figaro ran right over it, and Habrun's there to clean it up. And Habrun is really uh, perhaps a bit fortunate, but certainly clinical at the end. Figaro exceedingly fortunate not to have actually touched that ball as it approached the line. He threw a hand out at it. Deliberate handball on the line and Trinidad and Tobago are having a very different conversation right now. Soma. Burton. came up lame. He tried to race forward through playing that pass. He's a bit labored. Hawkins. Soma. Hawkins. Dicing too far outside. Mexico now leads Guatemala. Group E. It appears we're going to be entirely chalk for the first two match days. Of the CONCACAF Under-17 Championship in Group E and Group F. The United States win this group. On Wednesday against Canada, the round of 16, they would see the Dominican Republic qualified through the preliminary structure in a group with Dominica, the Cayman Islands, and St. Kitts and Nevis. Talk about an entirely different level. The Dominican Republic hosted that tournament. Plus 18 goal difference, scored 19, allowed just one. They may arrive here in Guatemala and be staring right into this United States machine. Habrun. Thank you. 
corner for the U.S. who have lost just once all time to Trinidad and Tobago in this competition. Cross here. This may be as dominant a performance as the U.S. has had this state field match against Trinidad and Tobago. Two countries that relating to World Cup qualifying are always going to be somewhat intrinsically aligned. Puerto Kino, U.S. failing to qualify five years ago for the World Cup. A match in Trinidad. Trinidad and Tobago unable to defeat the United States. What's been named the shot heard around the world. Into the long drought of the U.S. at the World Cup. That's cleared. by Harangi. Clear by Karuth. Angled outside. Rudisil, Aquino. Trinidad and Tobago if they were a little bit surprised how quickly this devolved on them through half an hour. Down a man, they still took Canada all the way to the wire in a 3-2 game. The United States in this opening half hour looked far better than Canada has at any point in their first 180 minutes. Whoa there. Oh, that's clever. Stepping through midfield, but Habrun gets no further. Garcia. Chavez. Back from Karuf. Lamsey. Tough for Morris to handle. Soma recovered it. Rudisil touching wide. Soma now. Vasquez came off the bench in the opener for the U.S. Cleared. 
off the dribble by Figaro. Burton in the 11th, Rudisil in the 14th. Abrun in the 24th. United States, a quarter hour dismantling Trinidad and Tobago's hopes of three points tonight. Trinidad and Tobago have yet to really encourage that attack forward at any point. Clipped out by Morris. Rudisil. Flicked outside by Jura. Garcia. Come the U.S. again, Aquino. Throw after Ochoa's intervention. Won the SSFL title, St. Benedict's College. School that's placed five players into this Trinidadian <laughs> under 17 side. Jura, and it'll roll harmlessly to Panton. Garcia. Garcia separated by Sawyer Jura. An academy player from the Portland Timbers organization in the U.S. Beaudry puts it down. There's one thing that's really intriguing about the U.S. Let's say the starters are more or less defined at this stage. We'll get a better grip on that once we reach the knockout, particularly that quarterfinal round. Vasquez almost got it by Figaro. If he does, it's magnificent opportunity at goal. One thing that really isn't well known right now, Diego Kokin was supposed to be the starter, the Barcelona goalkeeper by all accounts. A lot of excitement about seeing him with these under-17s. He pulled out with a late injury. Duran Ferry ended up being the starter in the first match. Adam Beaudry starts the second. How long will they continue alternating goalkeepers or do they have one in mind remains to be seen. The plan all along was to use all 20 players and at this stage the United States have accomplished that. What you can say about the under 20 CONCACAF championship as this sent well beyond the reach of Vasquez. Then Mikey Forrest, who was assisted by Gonzalo Cigares, the under 17 manager, really in any circumstance willing to use any of the players at his disposal. The 
Aquino. Unable to connect with Vasquez. Garcia. Full effort by Vasquez. Cover the ball for the U.S. Salma. Give and go, Aquino. Aquino! Deflected, it'll be a corner. Second effort, whisked away, Rudisil. Pursuit of his second goal tonight. What a domineering header, and Samuel Duncan features in the Academy of Charlotte FC the second year Major League Soccer franchise, up to the task. A kind of deflection, more. Lamsey, taken back by Aquino. Lamsey, strong tackle, one that may require the referee to go back. He's uh, given the foul now. Diaz, Hawkins, Soma, Rudisil. Dumps this in behind for Aquino. Aquino coming out with a point to prove. Well worked by Harangi. Once he had run out of real estate, find Aquino trailing. Vasquez juggles it forward. Burton. Burton. much of that. Kino.
Beaudry. Jura. Halftime beckons. Just a few minutes away. pulled together for an 11 day camp in December. Double sessions with 39 players to ultimately whittle down to 20. Three goals behind, scored in a 15 minute span. They get one before halftime, provide a lifeline. They get that in behind Diaz. Vasquez. Driven across, maybe a bit of a surprise to Burton that that made it. It was also offside. Be a short amount of time added here at the end of the first half. Just one minute. Entirely clinical, the U.S. taking care of their business in this first half. Two well-worked goals, Burton, Burton, a few too many of those as well. The U.S. have settled a handful of times here against the deep-lying Trinidad and Tobago. Nevertheless, they're going to go into halftime ahead by three. Burton in the 11th, Rudisil in the 14th, and Habrun in the 24th. The United States put together a fairly comprehensive opening 45 minutes. They control the ball, and they are very much in control of the score line and of Group F. Approaching the final match day in the group, and what will surely be a showdown between the U.S. and Canada for the group title. Burton, Habrun, and Rudisil all get in on the act, and the United States lead Trinidad and Tobago at halftime. USA 3, Trinidad and Tobago.
Come on, come on, come on, come on. The United States leads Trinidad and Tobago three goals to nil, and they'll look to nurse this over the finish line, put themselves in position, entering the final match day with a winner draw to win Group F. And there's kickoff for the second half. USA three, Trinidad and Tobago nil. And for the United States, one would think at this stage they're rooting for the passage of time as much as anything. Also getting a handful of players mixed in to the action out of halftime. That's overcooked for Rudisil, who scored in the 14th minute. Lamsey came off at halftime, replaced by Jeremiah Cato. See Duncan, he did not count as a substitute. But Armani Rowe became unavailable as a late scratch with Duncan entering the lineup in his stead. Grabbed by Panthon. Let's see if Trinidad and Tobago can get one and try and turn this thing around. Been a quiet game so far for Tyrell Moore. The uh, Nashville Academy product, the brother of U.S. national teamer Shaq Moore. That's Hawkins. Harangi. Soma. Jura. Speared up by Aquino, recovered by Trinidad and Tobago for a moment, but more unable to lasso that in front of Soma. And the U.S. charge into the final third. Planked off of Rudisil. Rudisil leading Harangi. Taking this short. 
And it's well defended. Karangi shielded away off the touch. Top three in this group of four, moving on to the round of 16. Trinidad and Tobago and Barbados. Likely to uh, collide to decide that third and final place. In the U.S. and Canada appear poised to win each of their games against the two bottom sides. The winner knows they'll face the Dominican Republic out of Group F. The second place finisher is going to have to wait a day to find out who they see in the round of 16. They're likely Honduras, El Salvador, or Haiti. Right now it appears Haiti the front runner for the third position there. Jura. Aquino slid off his foot by Ochoa. Sween. Plenty of contact. Habrun couldn't break out. Habrun, nobody there for the U.S. Trinidad and Tobago look to possess just a little bit more. They were run ragged in that first half. Usher through Hawkins. Moore teased that up. Chavez cleared away. Goalkeeper Beaudry was calling for it. So fresh into the game. Started the opener against Barbados. Diagonal sliced out Vasquez. Good energy from Trinidad and Tobago here.
Set piece for Figaro. Figaro, Beaudry. up by Aquino, good slide by Caruth. Almost <laughs> free, Kato, Sween. Trinidad and Tobago into the final third and with a colossal deflection. A corner to come. Del Sween more involved in this second half than he was at any point in the first. Swain. Blocked for Chavez. Hammered out of the air, appealed for a handball. Referee says no. Swain. Burton. That helps centrally. Aquino the pivot. Drops down. Burton. See, not given there. Ezekiel Soto and K. Roll Figueroa enter now. Figueroa, a well known last name in CONCACAF international level. Son of Minor Figueroa. Six month caps in Honduran national team history. Prodigious goal scorer in the Liverpool Academy. Now with their under 18s. That's it for Vasquez. Young Union product. Which has uh, got their fingerprints all over the under 20s. Philadelphia. spread out the team origin story wise as I can remember for the US 
sometimes you'll see some hot spots here and there. That's really not the case. Rudisil comes out. And uh, Figueroa off the bench for the second time. Only two players who started for the U.S. in their first game are on the field now. Burton and Hawkins, the center back, who's on the ball now. Burton. Back heel return from Habrun. Burton. Jura. Spinning into open space. Played forward by Figaro. Beyond Garcia. Morongi into a nice pocket of space, out to Habrun. Touched away by Sween. More running alone up front. If they could ever get it there, Garcia. Burton. Ball sent back across. Burton, a looping header. Pressure from Figueroa. Figueroa plays it back. Panton. He's let off the hook. Figueroa never ceased to chase. Duncan. Figaro. Panton. Trinidad and Tobago have been to the World Cup twice at this level. They've yet to win a game, even get a point when they get there. 2001 invited by virtue of being played in Trinidad and Tobago, 2007. They reached the under-17 World Cup in Korea. Six losses in six games, but that 2007 team has some familiar names to American fans. Leston Paul, Kevin Molino, Aubrey David, all featuring at the World Cup in Korea. It's a free kick one the hard way by Taha Harbrun. Player debuting with the under 17s at this tournament. Hey, 
Burton for Aquino. Aquino kept it in on the chalk, laid that back, and Harangi sent that to the National Stadium. That's a skew from Burton. I have to wonder how much longer he'll go. Burton, one of the players that were involved in all seven prior under 17 camps in this cycle, alongside Christian Diaz in the back, Tyler Hall, Oscar Verhoeven, Cruz Medina, Edwin Mendoza, Ezekiel Soto, three of those players on the field right now, Aquino. Whipped wide Soto for Figueroa. Call from the Trinidad bench, it appears. Can they move this ball a bit faster, put the U.S. under pressure? Soto, strong step by Figaro. Way back to Beaudry. Tough to judge the goalkeepers. Hasn't been any work for them in the Barbados, nor this Trinidad and Tobago fixture. Canada match is gonna be interesting for the United States. Canada hasn't looked fantastic in this tournament, but they certainly have a, a wealth of talented players. And they have handled their first two matches admirably. This struck from a long way out by Jura. He missed the target. Covered right off the goal kick. Down to Figueroa. Figueroa! Watch out, Moore. It's going to bounce over Beaudry. Got a touch to it, sets up a Trinidadian corner. Their first. Swain. Yeah. 
Sween never left that corner. Quaffs back, tried to circulate. Got by Garcia, maintains possession for Trinidad and Tobago, Ochoa. Now Garcia, bright moment. Chavez off the mark. Trinidad and Tobago right now with a minus four goal difference in the tournament. The United States are plus eight. And this would put the U.S. on top of Canada, it would put Trinidad and Tobago above Barbados entering the final match day. In theory, both sides would be fairly comfortable if this were the final result, knowing that only a draw would see Trinidad and Tobago into third in the U.S. to the group title. Barbados is at minus seven, and Trinidad has scored more goals, so Trinidad would have to get to minus eight. That's gonna deflect in route and lead to a U.S. corner. So the U.S. would need to win here by seven to see Trinidad beneath Barbados entering the final match day. Aquino takes the corner. Settled and hammered at goal. Right at Panton. Moore. Morris. In behind, Sween arrives. Kino. Diagonal for Soto. Hawkins. Forward from Jura, Figueroa. Enough pressure that Figueroa couldn't clear that off the back line. Settles to concede a corner. Taken short by Burton. Now sent across, rising up with Soma. Soma. Soto. 
Aquino. Panton denies what's at least the third try from Aquino outside the penalty area. Aquino tees that up nicely. Angling for space, Panton another save. This time on Harangi. Soma circulates back out to Aquino. Aquino, Aquino again, Panton. Aquino, chance after chance, seemingly can't buy a goal. It's been hugely dangerous. Maybe just a matter of time. Driving in Habrun. Habrun lays that back, Soma. It appears the United States growing tired of the 3-0 scoreline. Six Trinidad shots. Five on target, nothing to show, nothing really all that challenging for Adam Beaudry tonight. Ball in behind. It's Carol Figueroa. It's Figueroa. More than half of the U.S. shots have been off target. Three in the first half, getting by at times a helpless Panton. It for Chavez. This is Malachi Webb coming on. That's the second change. Jeremiah Niles will join and replace Samuel Duncan, who in a pinch stepped into the starting lineup. Webb, fresh into the game. And what a goal for Trinidad and Tobago! In the 78th minute, it's Garcia! Webb included in the game for just a matter of seconds before he finds Garcia for a blistering effort. That's magnificent. The texture, the composure. USA three, Trinidad and Tobago one. U.S. are gonna make a change. They brought Harangi off. They'll bring on Gill, who signed a three-year deal with Barcelona a year ago. The 17-year-old from Colorado. Gill. Yeah. 
Diaz, Hawkins. The third goal for Trinidad and Tobago in the tournament. Webb scored the first against Canada. He assists this. It's a foul from an overly aggressive Figueroa. Yes, Figueroa did in fact apparently hear the whistle. Acknowledges that fact. With 10 minutes to play. United States out shooting Trinidad and Tobago 24 to seven. In their two matches thus far, 54 to nine. They've outscored their two opponents eight goals to one. This is good from Trinidad and Tobago. Can they find a second, Beaudry? That gets whipped back out past Garcia, attempted a bike. Never got toward frame from Cato. Where was this from Trinidad and Tobago for the first 75 minutes? Listless attackingly. And Ochoa forward. possible the substitutes and the substitutes have been critical for sure made an impact perhaps the US lulled the sleep as this match continued Webb Beaudry Figueroa rolling for Soto. That's it for Burton. And now there is no U.S. player other than Stuart Hawkins to go the distance in this tournament. Burton scored the opener in the 11th. Right now it's Paolo Rudisil's goal. That uh, is the difference. Cruz Medina comes on, which is a pretty tremendous weapon to have on your bench. Medina hat trick the fourth for the US in the last 22 years at this tournament most recent was Gio Reyna Jura into the width Cross Soma in mind. Figueroa offside. Swain 
in speaking with Gonzalo Cigar as the manager for the U.S. past few days, he described the lessons you learn in CONCACAF. It's great that this U.S. team went to the Czech Republic in September, that they've played some strong opponents with bigger names, lengthier, more extensive, more impressive, perhaps, history. But CONCACAF is a different animal. None of these players have played in CONCACAF until this week. And Trinidad and Tobago trying to make the U.S. pay for that lack of experience in the region. Trinidad and Tobago did play a couple of games against Jamaica in the weeks leading up to this. Fell twice, each by a one-goal margin. On paper, no question, the U.S. is Got every reason to either win this match, win this group, maybe win this tournament. But as is well known, it is extraordinarily difficult to win away in CONCACAF. It's difficult to win at 5,000 feet. Jeremiah Niles shown a yellow. Second card of the match, she joins Garcia in the book. Three and a half minutes and a bit of stoppage still to go. U.S. will see Canada, Trinidad and Tobago will see Barbados. And in three days' time, we'll have a great grip on that round of 16 bracket. Aquino falls for Figueroa. Hands to his head, thought he had found a way to touch that by the goalkeeper, not to be. Chasing back Gill, Beaudry. This field will see another round of games on it. And then the round of 16. Then these uh, teams that qualify from this half of the bracket, this quarter of the bracket, will make their way for the quarterfinals to the National Stadium in Guatemala City. What a turn by Soto. Ultimately, the goal here is to finish as high as you can in the group. It's easy to say, well, three of four teams make it. And each team has a pop four side in it that one would imagine on paper is a significant underdog. But your path is so important because the knockout stage, win two games, you go to the World Cup. Fail to win two games, you're out. It's not quite as forgiving as an octagonal might be. 90 minutes could decide whether or not you're going to a World Cup. And the easier road you give yourself, the Dominican side that'll come in having not played yet in this tournament, new to the surroundings, side that was ranked below 16th in the region. On paper, that's a matchup that you'd prefer overseeing either Haiti or El Salvador or potentially Honduras, the third ranked team in Group H. Then you get to the quarterfinals and as a one, you can't see a one from another group that early. A substantially simpler road the goal all these players have. Spoke with Tyler Hall, who captained the U.S. in their first game of the tournament about it. 
so much pride to wear the U.S. jersey, so much pride to potentially represent the U.S. in a World Cup. And so for the United States, they show up, they win again, they maintain their goal difference over Canada. All they need is a draw on that list, group stage game, to give themselves surely the simplest path to Peru in November. Three added minutes. Meanwhile, for Trinidad and Tobago, should this scoreline hold, they will be above Barbados. A win or a draw would be enough on Wednesday night. Go through to the round of 16, but they do, do so as the third place finisher. Group H runner-up that they'd see. Again, either Honduras, El Salvador, or Haiti. Based off the current standings in that group, El Salvador, but time will tell. El Salvador and Honduras play tomorrow. And what's going to feel rather decisive in that group? Soto. Soto whipping this through the penalty area. And once again, Kino letting fly, and once again, Kino unable to find the twine. One would think Aquino will have his moment in this tournament. Tomorrow, four more matches, Guadeloupe and Jamaica, Cuba and Costa Rica and Guatemala City, Suriname and Haiti, massive match, El Salvador and Honduras. Here at Estadio Pensativo. Group F will finish up on the 15th of February. Figueroa, Figueroa got a touch to that and rolls it wide of the post. Fidel Barajas has just scored again for Mexico. And Mexico appears to have sealed up their place in the round of 16. Second goal for the Charleston Battery player in the American Second Division. Knocking off Guatemala and their upset bid. We're only a matter of seconds away now. Penton, a handful of great saves, but it wasn't enough tonight. The United States secure their place in the round of 16. And on Wednesday night, they will play a match against Canada to decide Group F. Pole position in the group with two match days in the books. And Trinidad and Tobago, by losing merely by two goals, remain above Barbados in the group standings. They'll need a win or a draw on Wednesday night against Barbados to advance as the third place finisher. Collaterally, Canada has also advanced to the round of 16 with this result. No worse than a second place finish in Group F. The United States get three goals in less than 15 minutes time. Burton, Rudisil, and Habrun, 
And while Garcia offers a 78th minute stunner for Trinidad and Tobago, the uh, Social Warriors come up two goals shy of the U.S. The final score in Antigua, Guatemala at the Estadio Pensativo, USA 3, Trinidad and Tobago 1. a goal. How did the game plan change going into second half? Well, we just go in the dressing room and say we had changed the, um, the starting point 